In this video, you'll learn about the various camera views available in Model Maker's edit window that enable you to see your shapes from different angles. There are eight different camera views, one to go inside the model and walk around the virtual world, and three more controls that let you rotate the view to any angle by using the mouse. You can set your toolbar to show all of these choices by going to the Tools menu and choosing Custom. The basic camera views are left corner view, tilted front view, front view, back view, left side view, right side, top, and bottom view. You can also toggle between perspective and orthographic views. The orthographic view is when the shape is displayed with its dimensions exactly as they are in the real world. The label also calls it isometric. This cuboid shape looks a little funny in orthographic view because our eyes are used to seeing objects as smaller when they're farther away. The dimensions of its front and back sides are exactly the same, but our eyes expect the more distant points to look smaller. So Model Maker gives us the option of a perspective view, where shapes are drawn in a way to simulate how we perceive objects as they appear to our eyes in the real world. Shapes are drawn and viewed with the illusion of depth or distance. As you switch between the eight camera views, the first two look at the shapes from a perspective view. But then as you choose front, back, the two sides, top or bottom, then the orthographic view is selected automatically. With these side, top and bottom views, your goal is generally to see the shapes as they are with no distortion. You can still choose a perspective view but that makes the shapes appear larger or smaller based on which is closest to you, and that can distort the sense of how large or small they actually are in relation to each other. Sticking with the default perspective or orthographic choice is generally best as you switch between the eight camera views. Another viewing choice in Model Maker is to go inside the model and walk around the virtual world. Now you can see all the different parts of the design close up. This icon looks like a large arrow with blue horizon lines. When you're inside the model, use the keyboard keys A and Z to look up and down. Use your keyboard arrow keys to walk around. This is a perspective view, so close objects appear larger and distant objects appear smaller. While inside, you can also use this button to re-center the edit window. Select an object and choose the Look At icon to view it close up. You can also pan with your mouse to quickly move the world around, and it works well in combination with these three View Rotation buttons. You can rotate the view horizontally by clicking this middle icon and then click and drag with your mouse. Rotate it vertically, or simply rotate in any direction using your mouse with this first View Rotation button. The View Rotation buttons, Pan, and Zoom tools are available to use no matter which camera view you are using. That's it for the different camera views in Silhouette Model Maker. Thanks for watching!